Okay, now coming back to what is annuity. Now, annuity is an annual payment that you make. So, suppose you are uh, depositing say 10,000 rupees. You are depositing 10,000 rupees at the end of every year. So, here you are depositing 10,000 rupees. Then again, you're depositing 10,000 rupees. Then at the end of three years, you're depositing 10,000. At the end of four years, you're depositing 10,000. At the end of five years also, you're depositing 10,000 rupees. Suppose the rate of interest is say 10%, which is nothing but 0 0.1. Now, what you're depositing at the end of five years, so this value or the amount will remain as it is 10,000 because it is not going to accrue. Suppose you are depositing at the end of say um, 31st December, say um, whatever, to 1999 you are deposited and the next day it is going to get it or you are withdrawing it on the same day. So this is not going to accrue. This was deposited on the December 31st, 1998. So this would accrue one year's interest. So it will be 10,000 into 1 plus 0 0.1. So 1.1 would be the amount it would become. Now this you have deposited on December 31st, 1997. So it is going to accrue interest for one year and two years. So it is going to be 10,000 into 1.1 into square, 1.1 square. This is what it would amount to. And this one would be your, your deposit, suppose just one year before, that's December 31st, 1996. This would accrue interest for one year, two year and three years. So this would accrue, the amount would become 10,000 into 1.1 Q. And finally, this that you deposit at the end of the first year, that is December, say, 31st, 1995. This would accrue interest for one year, two year, three year, four year. So this will turn out to be 10,000 into 1.1 raised to 4. So this is the way. Uh, 98, 97, 96. Oh, this should be 1995. Okay, we made a mistake here. Sorry, this should be 1995. So starting from December 31st, 1995. At the end of one year, for a period of five years, you're going on depositing 10,000. The amount deposited is this, but you are going to get all this at the end of the entire tenure. So this is how we get as the accumulated amount of this whole thing is what you're going to get at the end of five years. Now, while calculating, we are, we are starting reverse gear, mainly I just told you to do this because to calculate, to make you understand as to how much interest each installment accrues. So being 10,000 being the amount that you're depositing in any case. However, this is a future value. So this what it is at the end of five years, that is December 31st, 1999 is what it is after five years. But right now, suppose this is our present value, so hence the importance of zero. We are talking about this as our frame, reference frame. So today, we start at the zero period. That is today, suppose a loan is sanctioned. Then after one period, which could be one year or one month or maybe six months, generally it's one year or it is even one month. At the end of one month, after, since your loan was sanctioned or since you deposited, it could be a case of you depositing some amount. So after one year or after one month, after the first period, the amount that you deposit starts earning the interest. But the same amount starts in, uh, 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 accruing interest for four years because it ends for this, for this, for this, for this and accordingly you get, hence you get accordingly that the, so many years it starts accruing interest and that's how you get this. So the net amount, net future value turns out to be this. Now suppose this is given the value R, this is called the value R and SN is the amount that it works out to be, we can also call it as A or we call it as even future value for easy purpose we call it as A. Uh, we call it as A or future value and since there are 5 installments, we can even call it as A5. 
if you want to do it for six we if there is suppose there are six periods for which you make installment we see you can even write it as a6 if you look at it a5 can be you can take out 10000 common and you get 1 plus 1.1 1 .1 plus 1.1 1 .1 square plus 1.1 1 .1 cube plus 1.1 1 .1 raised to 4. Now if you look at it you want to find the sum. If you look at it this itself is nothing but a GP. It's a geometric progression where A is equal to 1 the first term and R is nothing but 1.1 by 1 or 1.1 square so it's 1.1 which is in any case r is greater than 1 so we need to find the sum of this so this of course is r so we can write this as 10,000 into a so this is the formula for the sum is going to be a into r raised to n minus 1 upon r minus 1 so it's going to be what r raised to n which is nothing but 1.1 1 .1 raised to n minus 1 divided by 1.1 1 .1 minus 1 which is nothing but 10,000 into 1.1 1 .1 raised to n minus 1 upon 0 0.1. Now if you want to take a general uh, concept over here, general formula. Now how do we get this 1.1 1 .1 if you see i is 0 0.1 so basically it's going to be 10,000 you taken as an installment or the amount that you're depositing at the end of every period r and 1.1 1 .1 is nothing but 1 plus i i is what is going to be 0 0.1 raised to n minus 1 upon i so this is a5 or sn so a5 is obtained by this particular concept a5 is equal to r into 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 divided by i the value of this of course this particular formula is derived logically this way however since the period is small we can do it this way but suppose the period is 20 years 30 years we can't keep calculating this way but ultimately this amounts to a formula which is this because it's basically a geometric progression because the interest rate remains fixed hence the ratio of first term to the next term remains constant so it's a geometric progression hence you get it accordingly we get this particular formula that is a5 is r into 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 divided by i so this is the formula for future value of a particular <coughs> annuity so this is a basic concept of annuity.